So if you follow the channel, you know I've said a number of times I really believe that the Fender American Original Strats and Tallies are custom shop guitars without the custom shop price. And today, we're going to find out if that's actually the case. Now on the left is a custom shop 57 electric guitar. This has got the gold hardware and a few appointments that the American Original doesn't have. But as you can see, <laughs> maybe to the untrained eye otherwise, they look pretty much the same. The first test I wanted to do is a bit of a play test just to see how they both sound, play, feel, all that kind of stuff. This will be my first time comparing these two instruments. So I own this and this one's on loan from Sky Music here in Melbourne, Australia. Let's get into it. Alright, so that was interesting to say the least. <laughs> in terms of tone, I couldn't really hear any difference in the room. There was one big difference between both of them. I actually like the taper a little bit better on the volume control on my guitar. While this cleans up beautifully, you've got to kind of notch it down a little bit further. So 0 to 10 on the volume control feels a little bit more like every notch counts, whereas on this, you start to get the roll off a little bit quicker, and I kind of like that, but that's all subjective stuff. Now, in favor of the custom shop guitar on my lap, it's far lighter. And I was shocked when I put this on my leg. I was like, oh man, this is lighter. And when I got back to mine, I was like, okay, so it is a fair bit heavier. Now I'll leave specs and all that kind of stuff in the description. I don't think specs really tell the whole story. Now, in terms of the neck shape, which one do I like better? They're both phenomenal. This one does have a V-neck, as does this, but the thickness on the back of the neck towards the headstock on mine, 
which is the American Original Series one, is a little fatter than the neck shape on the Custom Shop guitar. And I couldn't feel any big difference playing them both. They both felt basically the same in terms of playability, feel, you know, when you dig in, they give you a lot of tone back. So playability wise, I think this is easily on par with this. Now, in terms of what I've just heard without isolating the sounds, which we'll do in just a second, let me know which one you like the best. I could take either of these. I both think they sound great. Let's try a couple of the pickup combinations clean, just as a tone test. Volume all the way up, neck pickup on the American Original. Over to bridge and middle pickups together. Let's give this a shot. And now over to bridge pickup on its own. All right, so there's some definite differences between both of the guitars. I think they both sound great. This has a little bit more of an airiness around the string sound, if that makes sense. So it's a little bit thinner sounding, but it also sounds a little bit more balanced across the strings. So they are different in terms of tonality, but I kind of like the fatness a little bit more on the other guitar, but this still sounds beautiful. This is by far one of the best strats I've ever played, as is that, and that's why I bought it. I really felt like at the time, the tones I was getting out of my American Original were so close to something like this. They are different, but it's pretty close. Over to the Crunch channel on the amplifier now. Let's give this a shot. This is Bridge Pickup. <laughs> So I can still hear a difference in that sort of thickness and overtone. This just sounds a little bit on the chimier and livelier side, whereas mine sounds a little bit sort of thicker and fuller sounding. And I don't know how to explain it. It's a really hard thing to describe sound, but this, if you listen back, you'll hear a big difference between the two. So while I got this in my hands, let's go over to neck pick up with that tone. <laughs> Yeah. Now you probably tell by my facial expression, I'm just listening. I'm trying to find out how to describe the difference. I guess, as I mentioned a few times in the video, I think this sounds a little bit on the darker side than that. And that sounds a little bit more balanced across the whole spectrum of the strings except it doesn't have the fullness of this guitar. Just in terms of the neck shape, I kind of like mine a little bit better, but they both feel so good. So in closing, was I right about saying the American Original guitar is like a custom shop quality instrument without that custom shop price tag? Yes, except there's one, well, there's two main differences. It's quite a bit heavier than the custom shop guitar and the pickups sound different. Now, I actually like the look of mine a little bit better. I'm not big into the gold hardware, but as, as beautiful as a guitar that this is, it's absolutely stunning. I like the neck shape on mine a little bit better, and I really feel like 
minus some of the cosmetic things on this guitar and the pickups, it, they're pretty much identical. So tone, pickup tone, all that kind of stuff, it's all subjective to what you like. I'm so wrapped I've got this. And in Australia, this is over $3,000 more than this guitar. And you're buying basically a lighter guitar with a very different tonality to it. But in terms of the neck shape, the finish, all that kind of stuff, they're identical to each other, minus, whoops, it's backwards on this. So minus the fact mine's got the generic sort of plate here, and this one has the beautiful custom shop plate on the back. But yeah, you get what you pay for a lot of the time, but then there's also that whole thing of law of diminishing returns. I think if you're gonna aspire to get a great guitar, you can't go too far wrong with one of these. If the custom shops are out of your price range, check out the American Originals. It's an absolutely beautiful guitar, and this will be the Strat I have for a very long time. I was actually a little concerned that this would wipe the floor with mine, but I don't actually feel that way. Tone is subjective, some people may hear it one way or the other, but in terms of feel, I prefer mine minus the weight. I actually really love the fact that this is so much lighter. So overall, they're pretty similar. Let me know your thoughts if you want to find out about either of these two. I'll leave some links below. Thanks again, catch you soon. See ya.